for today's video, I'm gonna share with you a collective makeup haul. Now, these are the makeups that I have hoarded over the past weeks. And it's not really something massive, but I just wanna share it with you guys for no apparent reason, actually. Um, nothing has really caught my eye in the bag addiction world, so I am shifting my attention to the second thing that I love, which is makeup. And yeah, so if you want to see what I got, then please keep on watching. Alright, so first things first that I want to share with you are skincare. Now I have two items right here. These items are from Japan. My sister just went there recently and I asked her to purchase these for me because I really wanted to try it out. So this one is called the Rosette. Um, it is kind of a peeling gel. Um, you apply this on your dry face um, and then you just massage it on your face and it takes out all the um, dead skin. I've tried this once and I would say that it really does work and the thing that caught my attention is they say that this um, takes off the blackheads and whiteheads. I don't know about that but we'll see. Um, I think this one is made of different fruit extracts and whatnot. So, yeah, this is available in almost all the drugstores in Japan. And then the next thing that I asked her to buy for me is this one. It is the Sun by You 100% uh, pure horse oil. Now, I did a research on this one, and while I am not a vegetarian, the thought of putting horse oil on your face or on your body just kind of icked me out. But um, I did a research and they said that they do not harm horses on purpose just to extract the oils. So that kind of relieved me in a way. But yeah, this has been trending in Japan for the past couple of years I think and I just really wanted to try it out because lately I've been having some dry patches on my face and I just want to see if this actually works so it just looks like that it is on a frosted glass jar and it doesn't have any smell whatsoever and that's just how it looks like it kind of looks like the frozen version of the virgin coconut oil if you are familiar with that so yeah that's just how this one looks like I've already tried this once and so far so good my skin didn't really have violent reactions um, it is very hydrating and it does get absorbed in the skin really fast and I think this is cheap as well I wasn't able to ask my sister the price because I was afraid that if I ask her the price she will ask me to pay for it so uh, maybe I'll just put the prices in the description box below. Now moving on to tools. The first thing that I got here is this one. It is just a regular beauty blender. Um, it is the regular pink color. And I know I am quite late to the game, but I have been an avid fan of Real Techniques. Their sponge, the orange one, I don't have it with me right now. I've been using that for years. I never really thought of switching to Beauty Blender, but I don't know what came over me. I just wanted to try it out and well, the hype is real. This is really a very good sponge and it does what it says. It blends makeup seamlessly. So yeah, I'm really happy with this and I might repurchase it in the future when this one breaks down. So speaking of real techniques, I also bought this set right here. This is called the Core Collection and this is the box that it came in. So it has this one which is the contour brush and then the pointed foundation brush and the detailer brush and then the last one you have the buffing brush. So I have a lot of brushes from Real Techniques but I don't know why I didn't purchase this in the first place but I've been really needing a small like brush for when I do my highlight and another brush that I wanted to try out is this one. It is the buffing brush. 
Um, I've been hearing a lot of good reviews online about this brush and I just want to try it out. Alright, and then sticking to brushes, I have these lot right here from Wet n Wild. Um, I have the fan brush. I got this because I was thinking to replace my fan brush but unfortunately I am really disappointed in this one because it is just so stiff. I tried using this a while ago when I put on my highlighter and it really didn't work out for me so I switched with the Real Techniques one. The other brushes that I got is this one which is the blush brush. I have other blush brushes. But this one is so-so, I don't know, um, it is quite thin, if you can see that. I used this today to apply my blush and it just did its job. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> and then the other brushes that I got is this one. This is the large eyeshadow brush and I really I haven't used this one yet, but the bristles are quite stiff and then the next one that I got is this one it is the small eyeshadow brush it just looks like that I did use this today to pack on the shimmer in the middle of my eyelids and well it, it did its job and this one is the crease brush and it just looks like that I was quite annoyed with this one because I used this to put my transition shade and I don't know, it took me a while to build up the eyeshadow and I thought it's because of the eyeshadow but I switched to my old crease brush and that one did its job very well. This one was quite useless for me. And then the next brush that I got is this one. It is called the Smoky Liner Brush. So it just looks like that. It's kind of like a pencil brush. This one I really like. It did its job very well. I used it to smoke out my waterline and pack on some eyeshadows in my lash line. Maybe you are wondering why I got these brushes when I don't really like them that much well it was kind of like an impulse buy um i really like how it looks it is white and the tops are like dyed in light pink so i really like that look but in terms of usability i don't i don't know i don't really like them um there are other better brushes out there all right and then the next items are for the face so I got this one this is my first bottle of the MAC prep and prime so I got this because I wanted to spray it in my eyeshadow brushes when I needed to pack on some glitter on my eyelids and I also use this to set my makeup just to remove the excess powder um, I don't really use finishing sprays so this one works for me and I I don't know it just has this light smell to it that I really like and then the next item that I got is this one this is the Maybelline Dream Velvet foundation um, I just bought this from the drugstore at Watson's it's 499 pesos I really wanted to try this out because there are a lot of Filipina YouTubers or beauty gurus that has tried this one out and they said that it is really good. I have really oily skin and this one actually doesn't last on my skin. After around 2 hours, my face got really oily and I don't know, I don't really understand it. My face is oily but I have some dry patches and this one highlights those dry patches so I don't know I don't really like this foundation it's not something that I would be reaching out for on a daily basis all right and then moving on to the next item I have this one it is the NARS creamy radiant uh, it's the radiant creamy concealer so it's just your regular concealer and I have 
mine in the shade Vanilla. So, it's just the dual coat applicator like that. Um, I got um, a very light shade because I really wanted to use this as a highlight. And I've heard a lot of good things about this one, so I really wanted to try it out. And so far, so good. It doesn't really crease on my under eyes um, as long as you set it in the right way. So this one is perfect for my skin. It doesn't break me out. And I highly recommend this. It is a very good product. And then speaking of setting it, I also got this one. It is a Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. In the back, it says Translucent Loose Setting Powder. There you go. So this one together with the NARS and the MAC items, um, I got from Rustan's. So yeah, this is readily available there. I really love this powder. It beats my Ben Nye Banana Powder. It sets my concealer really well it doesn't crease and it is really soft on the skin like even after you have brushed off the excess powder after baking it leaves the skin very smooth it looks really good on camera so I highly recommend this one oh yeah and by the way some of these items are not readily available in the stores here in the Philippines so most of them are actually purchased from online sellers. I've used two online sellers for this haul. Um, one is Stop and Style and the other one is Your Makeup Store PH. They are both Instagram sellers and they do have their own websites. I will just link it in the description box below as well. Moving on to the eyes, I have this one. It is the NYC Eyeliner Liquid. It's just your regular black eyeliner. I've been using the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Eyeliner for years now. Like that is my holy grail liquid eyeliner. But I've recently been practicing my wing. So I really wanted to try this type of eyeliner because this one has a wand and it has a really thin like brush in the end. So I wanted to try this one out so that I can practice my wing. And another one that I got is this one. This is Fake Eyelashes from Amor Us. I haven't really heard of this brand but when I saw it in Stuff and Styles website, it is in a very affordable price and I just went ahead and put it in my cart because I really wanted to try it out. So this one specifically is called the WSP or I guess Wispies. It is in my eyes right now. And I really like this one because it has a very very thin band that it doesn't hold down the glue if you know what I mean. Because there are other fake eyelashes that have a very thick band and it makes it hard to put the eyelashes on so yeah it is very stiff but this one is really flexible and because it has a very thin band it is very lightweight moving on to some other eye products these are the items that I'm really really excited about Ta-da! I got these palettes from Too Faced these are my first Too Faced products so first off, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. So it has 16 um, eyeshadows. It's a mix of shimmer, satin, and matte shades, I think. So yeah, that's just how it looks like. It has the mirror as well. And yeah, I've been eyeing this palette for quite some time, mainly because I am intrigued by the smell. I know it's a very lame reason but that is one of the main reasons why I got this. This is not actually readily available here. Uh, we don't have any Sephora here so I wasn't able to smell it in person. And now that I have it, let's take a whiff. It's 
Swiss Miss. I have tried this one out and mm, it's an okay palette. I mean, comparing it to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, that one is hands down my favorite palette of all time. All the colors in that palette is really blendable and very pigmented. But this one, there are some shades that you have to build up to be able to get the color payoff that you wanted. Other than that, this one has a wide variety of colors in it. Alright, and then the next palette that I have is this one. It is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Shout out to Abelila. Hi girl! Um, I've been asking her if this is really worth the money and she told me that all the Too Faced palettes are worth the money. So I went ahead and purchased this one. Well, this one I purchased not because of the smell. It's just the secondary reason, I guess. I love the colors in this palette. Plus, this one has 18 shades all in all. So I've been watching some reviews of this one on YouTube and I really was intrigued. I've used this palette on my eyes right now I use Georgia as my transition shape okay. so the way that I did my eyes today is I use Georgia as my transition shade and I use Charmed I'm sure this color right here to create the halo effect if you will I, I'm not sure if that is the correct term or I'm not really sure if I did it correctly but I just used charmed I'm sure here in the outer corner and then going over my lid up to here and then I just sprayed my eyeshadow brush with this one the prep and prime and then I just sprayed and then I just sprayed my eyeshadow brush with this one, the Prep and Prime, um, and dipped it here into this color right here. It's called Luscious. And I just put it in the middle part of my lids. Caramelized to deepen the like the peach hues right there on my crease. And then used this one which is nectar to put in my inner corners and the smell of this <sighs> smells like peach I have two blushes right here this one is by MAC it is called the Melba it is a matte blusher and I would say it's just looks it looks like that I would say it's just like a, a toasted peach color and what I like about this one is it is matte finish and then the other one that I got is this one it is from Milani Cosmetics it is the ever famous baked blush in the luminoso color so the packaging just looks like that and then when you open it you have that blush right there and you have a mirror and a brush it has more peachy undertones compared to the Melba one which is quite which is a bit darker and the luminoso I would say has some micro glitters in it it's not too shiny like a highlighter but it has some shimmers in it and then the next one that I got is a highlighter it is this one this is from the balm it is called the Mary Luminizer it is a very famous highlighter as well drugstore highlighter if you will and it just looks like that so when you open it up you have a mirror right here and that is your highlighter right there. It is a very big pan. So it just looks like that. And the reason why I got this is because the Becca 
Champagne Pop highlighter is I love that highlighter, but I really wanted the highlighter that has less like orange or gold specks in it and this one is exactly that so that's just how it looks like so I really love this I also have it in my cheeks right now and I feel that this one pops more on my cheeks or in my complexion compared to the Becca one so I love it last but not least are lip products so I have this one right here it is from Chanel it is my first ever Chanel lipstick to be honest I purchased this because of the packaging <laughs> because I really love the CC logo right there and the simplicity of this packaging the packaging reminds me of my mom's lipsticks before. So I got it in the Rouge Coco 434 Mademoiselle color. It's just a bullet type of lipstick and it has Chanel written there. So that's how it looks like. I chose this color because this one goes well with my complexion. It just looks like my lips but better. And I was surprised that I really like this because it is very hydrating and the color payoff is really not that opaque I would say but I love how it looks on my lips like my lips just looks like it's healthy like it's just glowing it is it does have a natural like finish to it maybe because of the color that I chose all right so for the next lip products I have this one this is really cute like I didn't really expect it to be this tiny this is the Colourpop um, ultra matte lip and I got it in the foxy set so I got this from your makeup store PH and she has an ongoing promo that if you buy a Colourpop kit you will get one lip gloss for one peso so i added this one in my cart as well because you know i just wanted to try out the gloss from colourpop so this is the set that i got and the colors that comes with this is deeper clueless tool more better and creeper so that's just how they look like um let us just open this one one piece is 0.9 grams or 0.0317 ounces so I wouldn't swatch this just because there's a lot of videos here on YouTube about the Colourpop lipstick ultra matte swatches so yeah I just wanted to share with you how this one looks like it's really tiny just looks like that it's really slim and really tiny but I feel that this will last me a long time since I have a lot more lipsticks in my collection <laughs> the gloss that she gave me is this one it is also in the mini size and it is in the color Weho just like a, a nude gloss all right so that's about it guys it's everything that I have for you today I hope you have enjoyed watching this video again if you are new to my channel please click the subscribe button below give me a thumbs up also follow me on Instagram at personal obsession have a great day guys and take care